I lied to you. All right. I didn't send you all the way down to Texas just to hang out with Kelly. Whom you hate. Oh, no kidding. You know, I needed for you to get the hell out of Dodge and not come back until after Jack's transplant was finished. How dare you send me away when, when my son was in danger, Todd? You're right. I should have told you. We could have lost him, Todd. I didn't get to say goodbye to the son that we lost in Mexico, and I'm never going to get over that. I mean, how could you think that sending me away was the right thing to do? Nothing like this will ever happen again. Blair, he... Todd was so... And you told her, Todd! You told her! And you didn't tell me that my son was sick. Why? Why? Because! Look at you! You're freaking out! I mean, the kids, they sense this kind of... Jack is not a kid! He's a baby! He's my baby! I'm his mother, and I should be with him, especially when he's... when he's frightened and he's so sick. Blair, I can assure you that Todd took great care of little Jack. I mean, he was a happy little baby. Would you let her near him? Oh, you, let, you let her near him, and you sent me halfway across the country. <sighs> what? I should have told you, and, and, and... Oh, you know what? Now I figured all this out. I know. I know why that... Why you were acting so weird the other day to me at the hospital. You knew that Jack didn't have an iron deficiency. You weren't bonding with me over your little Al. This was all about Jack. Blair, I knew how devastated you would have been. I knew that you would have been in agony over this. I was just trying to make things right. You were trying to make things right for me. Yes. Again, as a mother to mother, that's why I insisted on being tested as a possible donor, because I would have done that for anyone, and I did it for you to spare you that sort of pain. Right. Right. You did. And thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Very You're welcome. much. You're welcome. understand that I need to see my son. Of course. Oh, no, go, you go ahead. I'll, I you just got to talk to Gabrielle for a second. <clears throat> well, that very nearly was a huge disaster. Oh, I did it, Blair. I saved your baby. <clears throat> Blair's not here. Besides, didn't I tell you to keep your mouth shut? Well, I'm not going to let this money-grubbing, husband-stealing, gold-digger slut take credit for my selfless act. Oh, and didn't I tell you to keep an eye on her? I uh, tried, sir. Uh, oh, it's not been easy. It. Where's Sam Rappaport? We are having cocktails. No, not anymore. Sam left, too. I thought we had a date. You don't need to worry about that ambulance chaser. Come on. A woman with your charm and good looks and, well, with your money... You should have your pick of available men. <laughs> available. All the good ones are taken. Not where you're going. First class to Fairbanks, Alaska? There are ten men there for every woman. And I hear they're fabulously rich. Ask the expert. Oil men, gas men. Just think gold miners. Mm, fur coats. Here's some reading material for you when you're on the plane. Alaska men. They are excellent choice, sir. Well? All right. I'll go. Could be fun. I'm off to see my destiny. Better hurry up. Au revoir. It's been grand. Bye-bye. Mm. Stand there, follow her. Get her on that plane. I don't care if you have to strap her down yourself. Go. We'll do, sir. Nothing will make me happier than to ship Miss Alex off to the frozen tundra. Oh. Do you hear that? No. What? Peace and quiet now that you've sent that blonde lunatic off to the land of the midnight sun. Isn't that in Norway? What?
Nigel here, sir. It gives me great pleasure to report that Miss Olinoff is buckled into her seat on her way out of our lives. Hopefully forever. Good work, Nigel. You know, I won't forget this. She's gone. You know, this very easily could have blown up in your face. Yeah, but it didn't. Thanks to who? Me? Blair thinks that I'm the donor for Jack. And she still doesn't know that she's the natural mother to him. You know, you, you keep saying stuff like this out loud, I'll ship you to Alaska. Well, all's well that ends well, as they say. Listen. Thanks for... Well, you know. Yeah. Don't mention it. Just the next time you have a problem like this, lose my number. Ladies and gentlemen, due to overbooking, Global Airlines is offering a $400 voucher to anyone who'll give up their seat and take a later flight. I'll do it. I'll make the sacrifice. I'll, I'll take the money. Buenos dias. Esta Paloma Sanchez? The same Paloma Sanchez who helped deliver Blair Manning's baby? The baby who died? El bebe no die, senor. He is in Landview with la familia Manning. But I'm sorry, did you say that he was in Landview? Si, I, I, I saw him myself. Uh, senor thought he do lo que es correcto. The right thing. I see. Muchas gracias, senora. I was right. Jack is Blair's baby. Todd lied. The baby in Mexico didn't die. Blair adopted her own baby, and she doesn't even know it. Hey, Sam. What are you doing back? Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live.